guys all right so all right welcome back to the vlog um i'm headed to wegmans to go get food for the next couple of weeks um but i wanted to come on here and just update you guys i believe this is what day 21 um this is no is it day 21 yeah this is i've been on keto for three weeks now we are in week four um, headed towards the 30 day mark um, or whatever but I'm gonna I have made the decision to basically like move forward with um, uh, with keto into not only just for 30 days but further than that because I want to give my body more time to adjust and more time to fat adapt so to speak um, I am not in the best mood um one because i'm just feeling a little discouraged this week this week i gained 2.4 pounds um and i'll put my weight up so you guys can see i went one from 178.8 to what i go to to 181.2 and i'm a little frustrated with that to be honest with you but I was talking to um, some of my keto friends and people that and doing some research on week three on keto and just learning about um, like my body. Obviously, I mean, I am a woman, obviously, duh. Um, and my period is coming and there's a host of other factors. I don't know if I was drinking enough water throughout last week. I was trying to be, I was being extremely strict on myself not to the point where like I was I felt restricted but strict enough to feel like um, like strict I mean I was sticking to keto basically and um, I don't know y'all like last week I just felt a little bit more bloated than normal so towards the end of the week and I would guess also add this add the fact that I was also very stressed out last week um, because of some stuff with work and um, it's the end of the fiscal year for the government and right now there are the government has a ton of money to spend and a ton of projects that are coming up for me to take care of and complete and all that stuff so I'm just feeling a little stressed out so I think that combined with not drinking enough water combined with getting my period in the next few days um, yeah I think that kind of add, added all together to me not getting the result I wanted which was some type of loss but at the same time, I also am aware that weight loss isn't linear, like I said in my previous vlog. And so, I have to be okay with there being a little bit of an up and down. Um, that being said, I still have lost like 7 pounds, 8 pounds total over the past month. And I really can't be... I really can't be upset with that, to be honest with you. Like, I really have to give myself some credit and give myself some grace. Um, anyway... With that all being said, um, that is the update for this week. I um, am headed to Wegmans now. I'll share your, share with you guys what all I got, what I got um, in the next uh, clip or so. Hey guys, so I'm back home. I thought this was a pretty hefty Wegmans grocery haul for us, um, but I wanted to get enough food for the next couple of weeks because I will not have time on the weekend for the next two weeks to actually. Um, go grocery shopping. So this is going to be pretty hefty. Um, but I have everything laid out so you guys can see. So getting started on the vegetables. I have a bunch of jalapeno peppers. I have two regular cucumbers and six mini cucumbers. I love cucumbers to snack on. I got some spinach and spinach and spring mix salad. Uh, ranch dressing mix. Um, and that, I have broccoli already at the house. I have, um, what else do I have? Asparagus already here. So those, that's it for vegetables mostly. I have more frozen spinach, which, com which comes in handy for recipes. I have been digging mashed cauliflower, so this is actually really good. And I doctor it up with sometimes bacon, sour cream, cheese. Um, eggs, I wanted to do, make sure I did a really good, um, keto grocery haul for you guys so bunch of eggs you guys know gotta get the protein in this is the general so's 
uh, sauce and glaze that I'm gonna use on some chicken, but not on the food that I eat. This is a beef for Tony. Um, just some ragu, some pizza sauce, which is good, which comes in handy. I wanted to try some um, macadamia nuts, so I picked up these chili pepper um, macadamia nuts, which look really good. And some chicken broth for some recipes that I'll be trying in the next couple weeks. Um, and then I've been in digging uh, English breakfast tea. Um, over here, I have my, all my poultry and cheese. So I have some bacon. I got some Cajun turkey burgers, some regular ground turkey burgers. Um, and then I got turkey breast for Tony. Uh, two things of chicken, chicken boneless skinless chicken breasts. Wow, chicken breasts, chicken breasts, um, pepperoni. Got some ham over here. What I'll usually do with this is just put, cut up some cucumber and make like little ham and cheese cucumber sandwiches instead of crackers. Um, pepperoni, uncured pepperoni, uh, like roll ups with mozzarella cheese. Um, these are pretty decent, so I can't wait to try these. Ground turkey. Um, I also got some chicken thighs, chicken wings, two pieces of um, salmon. Um, and then I got unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I got some dairy-free almond milk creamer, which is unsweetened. I got some milkadamia unsweetened vanilla macadamia milk. Two cans of full-fat whipped cream. Uh, pineapple mango, mango Tropicana, which I won't be drinking. Um, what else? I got two things. I really love fresh mozzarella cheese, so I usually like, grate this up. And then I also have whole milk, regular shredded mozzarella cheese, sharp cheddar, and a Colby Jack cheese, which is like two different cheeses in one. Behind that, I needed some more plastic wrap and pasta. And then I got some hamburger buns and some uh, trays to cook in. So that is a typical um, haul for me on keto. A lot of like meat and cheese and vegetables. So. I try to keep my vegetables pretty high. Um, I usually sometimes have to go back to the store maybe once or twice a week in addition to make sure that my vegetables are pretty fresh. But that's pretty much it. Um, I'm gonna put this stuff away now and probably make myself some lunch because it's 1.42 p.m. and I haven't had anything but my coffee this morning. So I'm not really hungry, but I'm gonna have something to eat, a little snack or something. Um, and that's pretty much it. Um, I don't know if I have much else to really like update you guys on, but I promise I would do like a grocery haul. Uh, and for some of you guys were asking for it. Um, all in all, um, though I'm a little bummed about the weight, weight gain, I know that it's just my body trying to just get adapted to everything. And I also know that whenever my period is coming, I do tend to hold on to a little bit more water than normal. Um, and so I'm just gonna continue to like flush my body, continue to like consume a lot of water. Uh, make sure I'm hitting my fat um, grams per day and you know keep keeping an eye on the carbs so carbs for me have been 25 or less maybe sometimes some days even 20 or less so I'm just trying to you know stick with that and not deviate from it I know that if I see this through um, and remain consistent even when I don't see the numbers reflect my effort um, I will eventually see the numbers go down so even though I know it's not all about the numbers I know it's not all about weight loss and all that stuff is about health I definitely you know when you have a goal in mind you definitely want to like see that happen for yourself especially when you're putting in effort and passing up delicious food not just so you can like see something happen so it's been rough um, I'm a little actually like I'm pretty low energy I don't know if you, know, if you guys can tell in this video but I you know I just, you know, sometimes when you just don't, it's, it's a little discouraging, you know. And I'll be honest, you know, I was, I was a little bummed today because uh, I've been so successful the past two weeks. So, um, but I'm going to keep pushing along and I will see you guys. And I'll probably, you know, I'm going to update you guys. I'll probably um, also include a blog post this week on it. I know I said I would do that last week, but I wrote about something else last week and um so head on over to my website to see um an update on my keto journey thus far 
just a little bit more about what happened in week three and you know go into detail about what i'm gonna do to move forward um i was really into like the planning phase and like actually like trying to like move things like work things out like actually do recipes and stuff like that the first week and i think that's why i had a lot more success too um i kind of got a little lazy in the second and third week so i really want to like in this fourth week be very diligent about actually planning out what i'm going to eat so that i can actually have more success and i'm staying off the scale this week that's another thing i'm doing i'm not gonna like mind f myself with look getting on the scale every single morning i'm not doing that what i'm gonna do is wait until next week after my period is over after things have settled and just go off of how i feel so that's another thing i'm doing um anyway sometimes you know things don't pan out uh the way you want them to you just gotta readjust and keep and get back into go back to the basics back to planning back to you know you just can't get too lax sometimes and that's exactly what i did so anyway i will talk to you guys and put this food away it's been sitting out for, <laughs> for like 15 minutes so i'm gonna put this food away i love you guys um and i'll probably be back next week as far as a for the keto journey with maybe some good before and after photos i don't know we'll see how i feel about that i'm a little scared of sharing that <laughs> oh lord <laughs> It's scary, but I'm excited nonetheless. Um, and I'm gonna continue with this journey even after 30 day, the 30 day mark, because I want to, you know, see what happens in the month two and month three and so on and so forth. So I'm excited about this. I love you guys. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And go check out my website and my blog so that you guys can also follow um, a more detailed journey um, through prose. So I'll talk to you guys soon.